start recording and we should be ready to go so I'm gonna sit drop this back because right we need that to be there we need this to be this I need my phone to be there and then we're gonna go So this is 400 days. It's a standalone episode that goes between season one and two. Um, not really many people have played this episode, so I'm going to include it in our playthrough, um, our let's play of the Telltale Walking Dead series. So this is 400 days. So we've got a board with missing people on. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even see the crosshair in the middle then. Okay, so we've got Vince, we've got Shell, we've got Bonnie, we've got Russell, we've got Wyatt. So that's it, five people. I'm assuming each of these are going to tell their backstory. Um, so let's just start with Vince. <coughs> Damn it, I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know you, bro. Seems like a friendly chap. Shit. Either in the bin or on the roof. Let's do the roof top. Hope you got arrested anyway. Vince, two days in. Come on, man. Can't listen to this crap anymore. Two hours. Think it'll clear up soon? What am I, the traffic man? I'm supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. I'm gonna get rid of. You're gonna be this oh, annoying relax. for the next two hours? It's not your fault. Get used to it. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, I'm making him hot now. Settle down, assholes. He started it. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. <laughs> window. Hey, don't Justin, open. see that right, guy man. in the beat up truck? Right. I bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house, life savings. Shit, I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is, I'm not like that. 
My lawyer's gonna be here. Tell you about what, this. guys. You know, I ain't afraid to say it. I'm really this. missing my girlfriend right now. I'm oh, guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse swear, than that, man. She won't talk to me. I haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. <laughs> Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know. I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. No, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. <laughs> hey, how about some water back here? Shut I thought you took the stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your shit and tell them you didn't know what you were doing? Or I'll set you I lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. You should have been a man about it. I can't believe I'm getting my moralistic shit kicked in by a couple of criminals. You want to know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh... A pyramid scheme. Aren't those kind of... shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God <laughs> damn, boy. Ho ho. When we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. I had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. But that's a hard thing to carry, you know? I don't regret it at all. Sometimes, you gotta do the hard thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. How'd they get you? Tossed the gun up on a roof. And? It was a good throw, and a roofer found it the next day. You, know, you gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. Bad luck, Vince! <laughs> that's not bad. What do you think, Shut Justin? What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? you? Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, man. Christ! What the hell is going on, Grab tree, yeah. knock it off! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get in there, man! Hey, let him go, man! Hey, Damn it, Crab tree! Don't food. make me come back He's gonna kill him, bitch! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Vince, we gotta do something. You know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? You can't do anything with these damn chains on. Shit! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time. He's not listening, man. You gotta get in there. Get yourself in there and wake that shit up, Come on, now. man. Come on, boy. Get back there. Okay, asshole. Let him go. Get in between them, goddammit. He's gonna kill that boy. Crabtree? Last what warning. Do you Knock him out. Let him go, goddammit. Wow. I said knock him out, not blow his head off. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy. Answer damn. me back That guy's there. still alive. Get those cuffs off him, man. What the hell was that? He, he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. He's still breathing? He's, uh... Fucking fuck! You gotta call someone, man! What? I'm calling this in. Don't. Don't call it any hit. Just... Just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. You killed that guy. You gotta deal with it, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. I'll calm down when you quit running your fucking mouth. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. 
Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? You really want to pull that trigger again, son? <laughs> Thanks, man. What the fuck? Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. We're not man. going anywhere. Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Hey, driver. Yo, bro, oh, in the man. front seat is gonna turn. Here. We're safe inside the bus. Gonna... Yep. Holy shit. Game Jesus. over. Oh my god. Hey. Hey, you need to call someone. You hear me? We need to. Did he just bail <laughs> on us? Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck. 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 Can't reach us. You sure about that? Oh, he will. He'll rip his foot off. That ankle's gonna give. Shit. What are we doing, guys? Come on. We gotta do something. Find a weapon. What kind of weapon? Where's the guard's gun? Yeah. Yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me. And he's gonna turn too. Get the gun, man! Get up, Vince! Hurry up! Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! Nice. Oh! Watch it, man! Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's gonna turn. He's on him. Nothing. Well, shit. If the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, hey, don't. buddy. <laughs> what the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot fuck in. you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. Uh-oh. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! The chain runs through that loop that's welded to the floor. No chance of us. Take out the windows! Whoa, whoa, watch it. Ain't gonna work. Shit. Need those keys. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's foot? Well, Sorry, but no, 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 you can't. Thanks. I have. Oh, oh. 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 shit. Oh. Still attached. Again, do it. saved him damn <laughs> so that's Vince's backstory done shell
236 days in. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't <laughs> want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Right, let's go and find Vince. What's his name, Vince? We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Smells good. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Hmm. Oh, you scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human. Roman. Either. Why did I think his name was Vince? You know, uh, your sister says you wouldn't <clears throat> mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best. It's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Oh, God. 
head. <laughs> so what's she eating? Oh no. Ugh. She's eating a puppy. Right, so I can't go back there. Talk. I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's it's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make <laughs> a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell, Becca! Something's going on outside. Uh -oh. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on. We gotta find Roman. This month. It's so can't be bad. Jeez. Largum. My God, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know, and I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. The second break-in we've had in the last <clears throat> couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You have a point. I don't know. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Oh. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. He made us beat up that guy with a mustache and steal his boat. We <laughs> did that. I've regretted it ever since. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie. Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. 
You're the swing boat here, Shell. Let him go. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Give him got? some food. When, three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying. But you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again. Or tell anybody where we are. You wish you had died today. Fuck you, Roman. <laughs> Two fifty nine. So wait, was that is this before now? I think it is. Do you have any fours? I thought it said two sixty three earlier. Nope. Do you have any sevens? I could be wrong on that though. Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you open what's going on hey becca hey when you uh, get a sec i need you to come out and talk to me it's important okay i'll be outside you'll see me give us a minute yeah just don't take too long what was that all about Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you'd better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Roman? Mm. Good, you're here. What's this all about? It's Stephanie. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. 
You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Mm. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. Oh, so this is later then. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Mm. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? <clears throat> it's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine, and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, <laughs> Stephanie is your friend. <laughs> Was a friend. Wow. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell. <laughs> Should have pumped the brakes and just take off. What to do, what to do. Do I kill Stephanie or do I make a run for it? Everything okay? I don't ever want to put you in danger. I guess we'll kill Stephanie. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Stupid move leaving the keys on the table, though, because now Becca could just take the RV and drive away. I'm sorry. Me too. Wow, so that's Shell's story. Right, who's next? Bonnie, Russell, or Wyatt? I guess we'll just go around in clockwise order. Bonnie next. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? <laughs> hey, 
Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign? Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Both. Both? The whole point of the game is to choose. But they're both such attractive options. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> okay. How about... Well, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Well, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Take a hike, big ears. I resemble that remark. You resemble a satellite. You know, you weren't so damn sassy before. <laughs> Guess that's a good sign. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? What are you saying? Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. Uh-oh. I found us something. What are you two up to? Uh-oh. <laughs> Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters? Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. No, that ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Oh, now I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. Does she think we... So, where'd you get the bag, D? D? D, did you hear me? Keep up the pace, you two. What's in the bag, D? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Quit being so cagey about it. Me? Cagey? You two are the ones being cagey. Calm down, <laughs> Dee. Just tell us where you found the bag. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but <coughs> I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. We should get moving but now. But you Come are on, the one who made dark. me stop. Here, regardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing in this goddamn rain. You're gonna draw every thing from miles around you keep middle of nowhere you place. On no. You listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. To I can't believe you are still religious. Oh, forget the both of you. I'm leaving. Don't leave, please. We can sort this out. Oh, Lord, give me strength. We'll straighten this out. We will. Right, D? We, we can solve this out. We just need to get somewhere else. Oh, now you agree with me. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling? D, <laughs> come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. D, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Oh, come on now, 
D. No reason to pick a fight. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Stop going so fast! Oh, oh shit. Ah! Clever. Oh my god. Kick it. close. Oh! That was clever. You are dead. Where the hell are they? D! Ah! Oh, I've done it again. Run. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Whoa, wait, that's Roman and his lackeys. and hold the X button to grab it. I got it. <sighs> I didn't press it hard enough. Hard enough? Quick enough. I'm ready. Whack! B B Bonnie. <laughs> D? Oh, God! D! I I'm so sorry! Oh, God! Why? You. Why? Do. Do. Do I love you? How bad is it? It was dark. It's so dark. I, I couldn't see you. I, I didn't know it was you. How was I supposed to know it was you? Mm. There, there was no... Mm. You know, I thought I... Mm. I saw you. You... 
you did this. Oh, you killed me. You, you killed me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never have dark out here. trusted you. Just, just a junkie. Leland. She, she did this to me. I, I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I've seen him look at you. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. Bitch, Mary, you wanted him, didn't Thank you. Help the stones. Leland is just a friend. I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God. Junkie. Oh, that's Dee dead. Dee, Dee, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they'd got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? Dee, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, Dee. Your face, her face, Bonnie. I had to. I, I thought you would. What, what do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said? It really was an accident, Leland. It, it really. You did this. You did this to my D. She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Levin. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, I no, feel sick. Going... Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you this see way. Him. I know it's hard, but I need you, Leland. I think I saw something over here. They went this way! What the hell are you doing? If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Wow. Wow. Somebody there. Hey, you getting up? <laughs> I don't think so, pal. <laughs> See anything weird? I'm running my ass off. Bang! That just killed you. You're either stupid as fuck or you think you're tough shit. Or both, I guess. I don't want no trouble. Please. Standing out here like this ain't gonna get you nothing but trouble. Just mm. leave me alone, please. I'm not hurting no one. How do I know that? 
Maybe you're just walking this highway looking for some tail. You're gonna end up hurting somebody. Maybe killing you right now does our troubled country some good. But honestly, I ain't no do-gooder. I'm gonna let you live. Okay. So you have some balls on you just standing there like that. You'll get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't. What's your name? Roughly. So you didn't. Oh, that's that white. Bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she liked the party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. <laughs> Good shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. You'll get used to it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. All right, fine. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off and do a double back. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. Your argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. <sighs> all right. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They are all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. <laughs> Leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors, it was the same every time. He... he... Let it out, Paco. Just, we gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? <laughs> then bang, they'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? <laughs> give me a little something. Just yeah. Taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman that's all we got left now. No laws, no <sighs> jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Uh -oh. uh, slamming before she was rotten, right? Thing. Here, get a look. Fuck! Ah, like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, hell. If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Fuck. Tell me, Russ. Ten, okay? Ten, you psycho! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Damn it. Jesus Christ. 
This guy's a that? lunatic. Bullets in the glove bag. Now you know what's really messed up is that little shot of him driving away like that. That's the first shot when he was walking by and he saw the guy across the street because it was mile seven, same stretch of road. Good reuse of scenery. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Uh oh. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Oh shit! Go! Get out! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Go. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? <laughs> Look how good you did. All right. What are we gonna do? First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! <laughs> that was clever. Shit! Push! End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. Not fucking around. We won't make it. No way. Yes, we will. We cover each other. Toss the gun back and forth. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll go first. That a boy, Russ. All ass. All right, I'm good. Heads up. Nice. You dumb bastard. Start shooting, I'm coming. Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go. Oh, you dick. You saved my life. Whatever. We got more work to do. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this ass. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Hell? I, 
think I saw a guy. It doesn't look like Roman, it looks like an older guy though. Just jump out and grab your call. Yep. Waltz! Ow! Oh. Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here. Think you can just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook. First off, oh my watch God. the fucking racism. This is my boy. All right. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I seen. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. Nope, he's killed them both. So Nate's an asshole. I mean, we kind of knew that anyway when he picked us up in the car. One left. Wyatt. Jeez, Louise. God, this is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a That's shit? Nate. Just... <laughs> Hurry up, Betty! Here, man, shoot! Get him, man! Jesus, Jesus. Oh, That's shit, Nate. Man. Did you get him? Are they back there? I think. Wyatt? Same truck, Dude, right? Are they there or not? Come on! Wyatt talked words at me, man! I don't see anything. Are you sure? Well, those guys wouldn't just give so up. I don't see anything. Here, I'll turn off. I feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I can't see a damn thing out here. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, Oh, man. shit! I should watch out for cows! Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please? This road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no! Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He is fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. What if there's something in the road? Doesn't matter. We gotta get the fuck away from those guys. They are A-grade fucking mental. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. <laughs> see? It's fine. 
Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Was that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Please, never talk again. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her? She told me that when she was five, I think, her dad took her to the circus. I don't side care about this story. Walked around for a while. Saw At the chick all. with two heads. Saw a dude with lobster Stop heads. Talking Some kind now. of monkey human with a dick for a face. <laughs> She also said there was a little girl in there the size of an apple, but I called bullshit on that one. Point is, she saw there was this guy standing in there, buck naked, and singing this weird... Are you even listening to me? Nope. The guy peed on her dad. Shit! Ah! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you Indeed. I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man. Say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. I think it... I think he was alive. Ah! Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll, like, tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. What's that way out in the road? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Stop messing around. We need to know what's going on, okay? That's not gonna help. Okay, okay. Jeez. Look. Wyatt. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. Go out there and what? Find the guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If <laughs> it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. <sighs> Fine. I'll go. Give me the gun. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. Then why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. <laughs> Okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. No way, man. You're nuts. I'm clear as shit, Wyatt. This is the only way it's fair. Fair? How is this fair? You shot that guy back there. You hit that thing in the road. None of that shit is my fault. All right. I'll go. That's okay. That makes sense. Okay. Just go out there. Take a look. I'll go, you pussy. Give me the gun. No, man. Not fair. Come on, man. You usually win anyway. Jeez, Louise. Forget it. You want to go out there, that's your business. I'll wait right here where it's safe. Looks like it's me. Good.
get ready to book it. <laughs> Eddie! What? What? Hurry up, man! Dude, leave me the fuck alone, alright? This is my speed. Here, in case we need to get out of here quick. Way to go, idiot! Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. <laughs> Where the hell did they go? It's the smallest hoopty in the world. Too dark to see. I'm staying right here. All right, well... But Eddie's upset about that. He loves this car. Right, well, I can't see, so... Ah. Why didn't you just leave them the ignition? Oh, shit. Oh, shit! shit! Ah! Come here, you little bastard! It's Nate! Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? That was stupid. Obviously, I needed to close the door and get away. Shit! Ah! Come here, you little bastard! I'm right, I left Eddie behind. We were right, there are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. So good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you bitch! <laughs> don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone. That's enough, Becca. <laughs> Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? 
Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people. Plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Chell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were gonna defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? <laughs> I mean... Then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? If we wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I had a gun and snuck right up. Well, what's stopping you? Exactly. Nothing. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. We have people of all ages in our colony. Teenagers. Whole families. It's a chance to reconnect with people the way you used to. That's not true. I believe her, Becca. Look at her. This is not someone who's been struggling the way we have. It makes sense. Can you promise my sister will be safe? She'll be as safe as she was before all this happened. Shell, this might sound stupid, but I think I actually want to go. Okay, <coughs> it means that much to you. I'm glad you feel that way. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. Mm. We're done. Danny or Justin, whose foot did you shoot off? You and 70% of players chose to shoot Justin's foot off. That's interesting. Stay or go, did you stay in the car or got out? You and half the players stayed in the car. That's pretty cool. Um, did you leave Nate or stay with him? You and 75% of players left Nate. Wow. Liar, did you lie to Leland? You and 25% of players were honest. So a lot of people lied, which that's surprising. Um, I mean, to be fair, it did give you a lot of chances to lie, so I guess it is what it is. Uh, did you leave the, in the RV or kill Stephanie? You and 25% of players killed Stephanie. Wow, a lot more players chose to leave. That's interesting too. Left with Tavia, stayed at the camp. Oh, only two people stayed at the camp. 
Interesting. So that's the end of four, 400 days. Thanks for watching. And uh, stick around on the channel. Please hit like and subscribe. I will be posting season two videos starting next Friday. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.